So the, you mentioned that substantial evidence really is not defined. When I looked at the Texas Family Code, the best interest of the child is not defined. In fact, it seemed like everybody gets to determine the best interest of the child except for the parents. It's the court, it's the guardian ad litem, it's a social worker, it's the attorney. So how do you come, and I understand it's a little bit different, but how do you determine what is the best interest of the child when you don't really even know the child nor the parents themselves? Okay, so you're talking about the family code, so that is a little bit different. It is a little bit different, state, state state yes. Code. Right. But that is my job. But then if you go to another judge, the other judge may say, well, what you've said is not in the best interest of the child, so how do you, it's I mean, this, this becomes very subjective, and the people that are going through this, you, you understand the fight or flight right. component, because they have to fight, because you have, there's no, there's no definition of what is substantial evidence, and nobody knows what's the best interest of the child. Okay, well, substantial evidence is a temporary guardianship, so don't Right, no, 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 but I'm just saying you were mentioning that, that's all I meant. Uh, so yes, it is subjective. Yes, you may have different judges say different things. I can tell you, my predecessor would have put probably every guardianship I've had in a full guardianship. And it didn't come down to best interest, okay? It was, there were some other things going on in there. Um, but I don't, I've been told that I follow a different standard than every other court in the uh, state. And I'm like, well, that's sad because I'm following the law and what statutes are, and it's not an easy burden to me. Um, when you file an information letter, when your private attorney files a um, request for guardianship, you invite the government into your home. And it is hard for me to say I'm part of the government, but I am now. And the government is coming. And the government is not leaving until we're going to They didn't come in soon, I heard. So it sounds like in that instance it wasn't the, the elderly old what did you call her? The the ninety-three year old old my, woman my widow. Says I'm an old widow woman. Okay, an old widow woman. Um, 
it sounded like she was not the one that uh, that invited your jurisdiction and invited you. It was somebody else who invoked it. So in what sense does she even have to, you know, th somebody, a third party has come to you now and is asking you to make a decision over somebody who says, I don't even want to be involved in this. What are you, what are you doing with this? Well, it's the same thing with parents coming to their adult child. Yeah. The parent is a third party, even though many times I believe that the parent is doing what may be necessary, and certainly I believe it's out of love. I, I believe guardianship with adult children is more out of love than what I see sometimes with the elderly, because I think sometimes that it's absolutely just to preserve the character. Yeah. No. 